Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you a little story time video about the first time I ever cross-dressed. A little background on why I even wanted to cross-dress. It was freshman year of high school and I was friends with a few different girls and for Halloween we all wanted to get together and do this little trick-or-treat night together and I'd never gone out trick-or-treating on my own. They were all like, oh my gosh, you should dress up like a girl. You should you should totally dress up like a girl. And I was like, mm. and I was like, then they were like, yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. You should do it. And I'm like, fine, I'll do it. Like, it's not a big deal. I'll, dr I'll try it out, right? In preparation for this day, I was like, hey, to one of my friends, will you do my makeup? And she's like, oh, sure. And she brought her makeup to school and we literally sat on the bench during lunch and she did my makeup in the middle of the courtyard at my high school. And then I just loaded up a bag full of all the clothes I was gonna wear that day and the wig and whatnot. So I got like a $12 wig. <laughs> this outfit though, you guys, it kills me. Some gloves from Hot Topic. And my dress was actually a skirt from White House Black Market. I had borrowed it from my aunt. And this, I was wearing some shoes too. I don't think I have pictures of them. But they were also from my aunt, so I borrowed majority of my clothes from my aunt, including like the necklace and whatnot. I totally like slutted myself up. I was like, we doing this tonight. And so when I walked around, I looked, you know, not good, but it was dark and people couldn't see. We went from house to house through like two different neighborhoods. As soon as I walked up to the house, all my girlfriends would say trick or treat and I'd be at the very end and I'd be like, trick or treat, thanks, 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 thanks literally thanks thanks <laughs> but it was funny a lot of the reactions were like oh my god best costume ever and I got a lot of positive responses not very many negative I'm surprised to be honest because I live in well my friend lived in a more seclusive type of neighborhood uh, a lot of people here in Arizona happen to be very religious and don't like you know, the LGBT community as a whole. And I was already out as gay at that time. And yeah, but I want to go back and talk a little bit about after getting dressed up. It took a long fucking time to get all dressed up. I'd say probably four hours with the nails, making sure the makeup looked good, the hair, putting on the clothes, like, you know, making sure I felt confident enough and getting down the walk because I'm not really worn high heels before that and yeah and I wore high heels out for the night <laughs> that was a different story I kind of tripped a few times and had to take them off halfway through the night of course which is disgusting you barefoot around the neighborhood mm -mm, my feet were so black we had to go back home and grab some other shoes because we were not feeling it but we still wanted to be out I looked like a greasy hot mess back then I had oil problems and acne and the whole shebang and my friend like literally just did like my eyes and that was about it I was at my friend's house and I got all dressed up I'm looking at the picture like right here you know I got all dressed up took some pictures in her bedroom because she was in the bathroom getting ready and so I used her room you know I didn't really know what to think I was kind of scared honestly of what I had saw and thought I was just pretty obviously I didn't think I was like supermodel status or anything but I thought I was pretty and it, kind of, it was kind of scary I don't I don't know I never even thought about being feminine in any which way or form at that point the thought of something different kind of was intriguing I don't know if you guys know this but I grew up Mormon my mom's side of the family was really pushing the Mormonhood and whatnot and of course my grandparents on both sides are extremely Mormon but my dad's now, you know, has left the church and is off doing his own thing. He's a tattoo artist. He's great. If you guys haven't um, checked him out yet, feel free to check him out down below. I'll leave his links. My mom is very Mormon, so I was a little nervous about the whole situation, especially like later in life when I decided to come out as transgender. I don't know. When I went home, I was still kind of dressed up. I think I changed back into my boy clothing before I went home. But I had, like the face on and whatnot. They're like, oh, how'd it go? How'd trick-or-treating go? And I was like, it was great. It was great. And I went to my room and didn't talk to anyone. Within a week or two after that, 
I had started wearing eyeshadow and other makeup to school. The reason why I bring up the story is because I want people to see like I'd never even thought about anything like being transgender and that's how it all started. Literally, I'm not kidding, within two weeks I was wearing eyeshadow and painting my nails every single day for school. Every single day. I actually have pictures here from like that Christmas. I dressed up full glam for, well full glam back then, <laughs> for Christmas party with my family. All the pictures, I eyeshadowed up like no other. I loved that eyeshadow. <laughs> Dressing up was honestly one of the most important parts to my transition and really helped shape me into the person I am today. And if it wasn't for my friends pushing me to do that, I would have never felt like I finally have found myself. And that's really the important part is for you to love who you are. I'm glad for myself that I had realized this because who knows, it could have been another 10 years before I finally realized this is why I'm not happy with me. But because of those friends, freshman year, I realized I did not like looking like a boy. I just didn't. It did not suit me personality wise from forever. I just did not like how I looked. I just thought I looked awful. And the second I put on that dress, all I knew is that I liked how I looked. These story time videos are really weird to make. I'm just not used to sitting down and talking, but I definitely think that it's important for us to communicate with each other, if you know what I mean. Communicating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Jump on that social media so you can stay tuned with everything about my life. And if you're interested in anything else, any comments, any questions, any concerns, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll definitely see you guys later. Bye guys.